to the Holy Land and Mecca, where the Holy Pilgrimage is actually going on. And I'll be speaking to Sheikh Didat Kakoza, who is ahead of Haji and Umrah. Sheikh Didat, yesterday when we talked, it was still a beehive of activities. What do we have on the platter today for the pilgrims? A good morning to you, uh, Sister Mildred, and all our viewers. We are here in Mecca, and uh, like yesterday, we are still going on with a lot of uh, uh, spiritual practices, which uh, were the gift of the coming of all the pilgrims in this city of Mecca, the mother of all cities. Uh, like yesterday, but today it will, it will be a little bit more different because all the pilgrims will be walking all the footsteps of uh, uh, our grandfather Abraham when he came to set up this city uh, those ages when he came from Iraq with his second wife Hagar and her little born baby Ismail. This is the time they set here and since then people have been flocking Mecca City for this uh, specific practice of pre, uh, pilgrimage. Uh, yesterday we took around uh, the pilgrims to a tour around uh, all the places which have got that historic significance where Ibrahim set foot and his uh, family, his second family that he came with in the Arabian Peninsula. Before Ibrahim alayhi salam or Abraham, uh, there wasn't any Arabian Peninsula. But when he, set his, uh, he settled his family in these areas, uh, people started flocking in and this is where the Arabs came from. Because Ismail is the, the direct lineage from Abraham to the last Arab. So yesterday we took them in the desert of Arafah as we had uh, initiated in the program that we last met. So they got to see where Adam alayhi salam first set foot. Our grandfather Adam, when he came from heaven, he descended into the desert of Arafah. But during the time of Ibrahim, he started teaching all the proceedings of uh, Hajj or pilgrimage from the desert of Arafah. That's why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Al-Hajj Arafah, the gift of Hajj, is standing in the desert of Arafah. Why is it very significant to stand in the desert of Arafah? Because people show their desperacy uh, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They they, they show how much they need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, back to you, Sister Mildred. Coming through. And of course, at least this gives you a closer feel, a closeness. For those who haven't done this holy pilgrimage, this brings you a little bit closer to what you will definitely be expecting. But inshallah, we are praying to God that you will be able to get the capacity to move on or someone with capacity will be able to help you realize this particular pillar of Islam. And well, with that, we come to a close of our updates. We'll be taking a break. When we do return, we want to delve deeper.